What's up? I'm going to be showing you how to fix your recording and to get it on time, right? So you know how when you're recording um, a piece of a section and you end up replaying it a hundred times because you want to get it exactly right and it's just this one little lick or chord that you just can't get on time, right? And it feels like you're on time, but when you play it back, it's off a little bit. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay, we're going to be using two features within Logic Pro X. And we're going to be using the Flex Pitch option, the Flex Pitch option, <laughs> and the Quantize option. Okay, um, and this is a stock feature, which is so great. And I feel like it makes Logic Pro what it is, and it makes it that much competitive. And I feel like this makes it worth getting Logic Pro X. So, um, the first thing I like to do is I like to make sure all of my recording is within the loop. And you guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but when you record and Logic counts you in and you can play exactly um, after the four, right? But it sometimes does not pick up the very 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 beginning of your recording and that can be an issue because sometimes if you're playing like a bass note and a high um note at the same time you want to get that because it sets the loop off and it gives it that mood that feeling so i like to make sure all of that is within my track so i'm going to do that first so what i like to do what i just did there is i dragged this over I'm going to drag it over to like right there. It really don't matter where you drag it over at. And I'm going to go to the bottom left and I'm going to just scrub it out. Now you can see it, it had just a little tiny piece in and I'm going to zoom in here. It had a little tiny piece that was left out. You can see it is within a gray area. So I'm going to just drag it and I'm going to just crunch it up, crunch it up. And I'm going to just get it right there it's where I see that first wave right and then I'm going to drag it all the way at the beginning sometimes that can just throw your timing off just that little bit right there because it won't loop exactly in the correct way okay and see now it's perfect so I know it stopped right here because this is the last wave and after this five mark I'm just going to press T, then I, and I'm going to clip it, and then I'm going to press T, then E, and I'm going to erase it. Okay. So let's hear it. All right, so I play that off. Just to show y'all, I got a little bit of skill. So then I'm going to flex pitch it, right? So you're going to click this flex pitch here. And then you're going to turn it on here where you see the other flex pitch option. And then it's going to automatically jump to auto. And if it doesn't jump to uh, polyphonic, just go and put it in yourself. <laughs> So the next thing you want to do is see what note it was and you're going to focus on that because you're going to then drag um, that transient to where you need it to be. All right, so I know I want this at the two. All right, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag it there. Now you see that it moved my whole track over. I don't want that. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to specifically take this one and drag it there. All right. So I'm going to do that here as well. So what I'm going to do is click this one and I'm going to, it's going to make one of these like cursors. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> and then I'm going to just drag that cursor. So sometimes it's all highlighted. So what I like to do is click down here to unhighlight everything. 
and then I can just click on so it just moves that and I'm going to move this one here uh, this I'm going to move that one right there to this cursor all right so I'm going to just click that I'm going to move that there and you're going to see it's going to move that waveform over and it's moving all of that so I'm going to just command Z I'm going to make sure I'm only touching that one oh it's doing that okay let's see alright then it's going to move that So. All right, so I'm going to move this one right there. So these are all right. So you see what I did? I just drag everything. Um, make sure it's right. So it sounds good to me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn on the quantize option and you do that by having the eye clicked all right and then you're going to go to region and then you're going to go turn on quantize and quantize will only work if the flex pitch is on if this is turned off it will disappear so you want to make sure flex pitch is on and then you go to quantize and then it turns on when you click um, you know which timing you want your recording in so I'm going to do 1 16th let's see what it does all right so it looked like it was one in one um 16th which is cool so I'm gonna show you what it just did so I'm gonna just go command Z to undo now watch um, how it moves everything in this beginning section in time when I turn on a 1 16th so just watch my track see it jumped over a little bit huh it's just going to move it just slightly over so it's going to as you can see this transient here is going to move that right here so let's see all right you see how I just moved it so that's the thing and then you can even go and clean it up. So I, I'm, I'm gonna try to put this one here, put it right there, and just go through and make sure everything is on a one sixteen. All right. Just letting you hear this. Um, just letting you hear to see how clear it is and on time it is. All right. So, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Any questions? Leave in the comments below. Please like this video. Get it in the algorithms for all of the other people that may need to know this.